Let's take a look at how and why some foreign nationals adopt and in some cases promote the ideologies of their host nation that later trigger negative opinions and cause personal losses. Welcome to Four Seas One Family. Welcome to Four Seas One Family, where expats, immigrants, and migrants can share and learn about life experiences abroad. I'm your host, James Thomas, coming to you from Taipei, Taiwan, and I'm so glad to have you traveling along with me on this journey, and welcome to the show. Recently, I've been taking deep dives into how certain events in the world are being reflected here online, and how some foreign nationals observe the events they see taking place around them in their host nation. But before we get into this, I would like to prelude with something that almost everyone has, regardless of where they are from. And it's called cultural blindness. At some point, we all display some type of cultural blindness, and we use it sometimes subconsciously to judge others during our interactions with people who we may feel, at least at first, may not have anything in common with us. This prompted me to do some backtracking to find out what causes some foreign nationals to muffle, suppress, or even oppose the beliefs they once held in their home nation to later believe the persona and adopt the popular narratives of their host nation and, in the end, pick up the cultural blindness held by many people of their host nation. Now look, I don't claim to know all the answers as to why this happens, but I'm able to gather and engage in conversations with a few foreign nationals who did just this. And before we continue, I would like to ask you a few questions. How often do you take the time to think about why you believe certain things you do? And have you ever wondered why some people from where you are from have resentments towards certain types of people who have or live under different political, social, or cultural systems? Have you ever taken the time to look at why people you have relationships with conform to certain ways of thinking and what may have caused them to form the opinions they have? Now, Regardless of the reasons that trigger and remain behind certain ways of thinking, you may soon discover that some past event related to the hardships people of a common community or ancestry had to overcome may be the reason why certain opinions are vividly held, propagated, and eventually honored. As you look further, you'll soon discover the elements that are behind certain ways of thinking, and in some cases, you may even find that you yourself may even become enraged. Now look, before we dig deeper into this rabbit hole, let's use this moment to clarify what cultural blindness really is. Cultural blindness is defined as a phenomenon in which a person follows traditions and adheres to values without judging whether they are good, bad, or borderline questionable. Cultural blindness assumes everyone has the same cultural experiences and values, but at the same time blatantly ignores the unique differences between people living under different cultural rules or doctrines. And despite the fact that most people today remain unaware of or insensitive to cultural differences, they still attempt to cross cultural divides and end up causing more confusion than solving problems. We may not always be aware of this. However, we must not forget that the cultural context we live in regulates our lives, influences our relationships, and refines our personal goals, which directly affects the quality of our lives. This way of thinking affects people on a massive scale and directly aids in the formulation of technological advancements, political policies, and economic strategies. All in all, this sounds all good, but there are a few times when this way of thinking can lead to misleading cultural blind spots, which inadvertently neglects to notice personal biases and prejudices. In other words, hidden cultural blind spots can lead to dangerous outcomes. Cultural blindness places a wall around guarded beliefs, and at the same time, harden these beliefs to a critical mass. There is little opportunity for opposing views to exist within these walls. This often causes those who are building upon these guarded beliefs to become disillusioned, opinionated, or downright delusional. The question that I would like to raise at this point is, 
Why do some foreign nationals take on the attributes of the cultural blindness highlighted by many people of their host nation? Of course, things like education, history, religion, and politics are important and influential factors that are precursors to certain opinions and national policies. Now, my observation leads me to believe that some foreign nationals adopt the cultural blindness of their host nation primarily because of their personal investments in their host nation. For example, they may have gotten involved in building a business or met someone they love and formed a family or gotten involved in an occupation that allowed them to express themselves in ways unattainable in their home nation. And because of this, they feel obligated to see that their future in their host nation materializes or comes to fruition. In some cases, because of negative experiences like stressed economic conditions, unsuccessful business ventures, and deteriorating social conditions in their home nation, some foreign nationals decided to make their host nation their permanent or forever home with no plans of ever returning to their home nation to live out their lives. Some even go through, if allowed, the procedures and mountains of paperwork that allows them to become naturalized citizens of their host nation. Some who are eager to show their allegiance to their host nation or the nation they have become uh, naturalized citizens of may later find themselves being promoted as poster boys or girls to promote propaganda or even evangelize positive images of their adopted nation, both locally and abroad. And it's not surprising that some even obtain government sponsorship to assist them in projecting this type of image. I'm just saying. Their supported opinion in their minds legitimizes their cultural blindness to something that more represents adopted nationalism or blind patriotism, which, unlike constructive patriotism, doesn't lean towards positive changes through questioning and constructive criticism. In fact, blind patriotism is intolerant of criticism. And to those who believe in this way of thinking, it becomes more of a hypnotic drug. Remember that no place is perfect, and this includes everyone's home nation. What is more important is the chance to take the opportunity to build better understandings between people of different cultures. Recently, I've noticed that some foreign nationals here online have taken on a persona or become self-absorbed in the cultural blindness of their host nation to the point of taking on their host nation's stance on human rights and political freedoms, which, if seen from an international human rights point of view, as being suppressive and in some cases inhumane. Some of these foreign nationals clearly do have personal investments in their host nation, which shouldn't be much of a surprise, just not much of an issue. But when some are presented with opposing opinions, they present counter-arguments to support their opinions, which in a lot of cases are perfectly fair, reasonable, and um, logical. However, there are a few foreign nationals who fall short of objective reasoning and physical evidence because they don't, can't, unwilling, or not allowed to deeply and fairly investigate the views they are going against or advocating. Now look, I understand that the remarks I presented may lead to countless numbers of whataboutisms that only attempt to discredit logical explanations and reasoning. What I hope to bring forward are ways of thinking that respectfully open doors for fair dialogue that isn't one-sided or tainted propaganda. My questions for you today are, what do you think may be the reasons why some foreign nationals adopt a cultural blindness of their host nation. If you are a foreign national, have you found yourself adopting any bit of the cultural blindness of some people of your host nation? What do you think could be both the positive and negatives of a foreign national adopting the cultural blindness of their host nation? Please leave a comment if you have anything you would like to say or share concerning this topic. If you're watching us on YouTube and found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to keep up to date with our current episodes. And if you're listening to our podcast, please subscribe to help us spread the word that we have a lot more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. 
people for Overseas One Family. I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan. And remember to take care wherever you are in the world.